welcome back. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at a new microphone from the folks at SE Electronics. I've been a fan of this company for a number of years and have invested in a few of their products like the V-Kick bass drum microphone and the DM1 inline preamp. But I've also been lucky to work with the company directly and check out some microphones they've sent me like the V3 and V7 vocal microphones. When I saw the initial release of the new BL8 boundary microphone earlier this summer, I was sure that it would live up to the reputation they've developed with their other microphones. I've used a variety of different boundary mics in the past, including the longtime industry standard Shure Beta 91A, and also a more budget-friendly option, the Behringer BA-19A. This type of microphone is a go-to for many drummers due to its convenience, being able to simply drop it inside of a kick drum and pretty much be ready to go, but also due to its sonic characteristics, getting more attack to the sound inside a drum, and sometimes blending that sound with an additional microphone on the bass drum placed out front on the resonant head. As a quick disclaimer, SC Electronics did send me this mic free of charge to check out, but in no way did they compensate me to make this video or influence the thoughts I'll be sharing with you here today. Upon first glance at the product packaging, I was impressed to see that this microphone features the same capsule as the well-regarded SE8 pencil condensers, and additionally, I appreciate seeing that this mic is compatible with the Kelly shoe mount that many drummers use in order to mount a boundary microphone inside their bass drum. After getting into the box, I was able to see a dense user's manual with plenty of information on the technical specs of this mic, a nice red leather pouch for storing and carrying this microphone around, a few stickers and decals, and finally, the microphone itself. After getting a chance to just hold it for a moment, I could really feel how well constructed this was. And for mics that I plan to haul around on gigs, I appreciate it being able to withstand some abuse. On the bottom side of this mic, you'll see that there's a series of switchable adjustments, like a low cut at both 80 and 160 hertz, a 10 and 20 dB pad, and finally, a character switch similar to the V-Kick microphone with a classic and modern pre-EQ'd setting. This character setting is what originally piqued my interest in SE Electronics, and it's something I see plenty of other notable musicians rave about, so I'm glad they had the foresight to include it on this new mic as well. This thing that looks like a gimmick, not a gimmick. Actually extremely useful, all these little EQ curves. Of course, I could walk you through more features and talk about the look and feel of this mic, but the true test is going to be the sound. And I did my best to record a large set of demos to not only showcase this mic, but compare it to some other options out there for miking your bass drum. So in addition to a demo of this mic all on its own in all three character settings, I also recorded a demo with not only the BL8, but the SE Electronics V-Kick and a Solomon Low Freak. All three of these microphones have a different approach to capturing the sound from a bass drum, and in some recording settings, you'll see engineers use multiple of these options, so I figured it would be a good way to showcase the complementary nature of the BL8 to work well with other microphones in order to produce a nice, full-bodied, blended bass drum sound. I'd highly recommend using headphones or quality speakers while listening, because the variance in sound is extremely nuanced, but I'll make sure to include timestamps in the description if you feel like jumping around or hearing something again.
Overall, I think this microphone is really well designed for both the live and studio drummer. If you're a gigging musician on the run, you can easily plug this in, select a character setting appropriate for your sound, drop it inside your kick, and be on your way. I personally found that the 10 dB pad was perfect for my preamps, allowing me to have some flexibility in setting the gain structure, and if I were operating on a PA system with limited EQ options, the low cut could really help clear up some of the muddiness before hitting my mixing board or speakers. And as someone who has done their fair share of bar gigs, where you might have some inebriated folks walking within a couple feet of your drums, it's nice not having an extra mic stand around for somebody to knock over or trip on. In a studio setting, I also think this mic has the potential to shine, especially when used in tandem with another microphone. Inside the bass drum, I tend to have an easier time hearing the attack of the beater striking the head, and less of the low end warmth coming off the resonant head. So when paired up with either the low freak outside or the V-kick near the porthole, you can strategically EQ and process each of these mics to create a nice blend of body and punch for something that will sit perfect in a mix of not only other drums, but an entire band. I know my demo really only showcases the use of this mic on a bass drum, but boundary microphones have numerous other applications like room sounds, pianos, theater stages, and even conference rooms. As much as I considered trying to include more of that in this video, I thought it would be best to leave that to some others and stay in my lane as a drummer with this microphone. Now in all fairness to SE, this mic's price tag is pretty much identical to its nearest competitor, the Shure Beta 91A, but I understand that for many, $250 might be a steep price to pay for a bass drum microphone, especially with the goal of pairing it up with a second mic to create the blended sort of sound I referenced earlier. All I can say is that in most cases, you tend to get what you pay for, and from my understanding of everything SE Electronics has out there, they do a great job of offering the highest quality microphones at extremely competitive prices. I'm sure that the cost you're incurring as the buyer is really a testament to the quality of components and the level of craftsmanship that goes into making each of these microphones. I'd highly recommend not only this mic, but any microphone from SE Electronics to others out there looking to make long-term investments at an affordable and competitive price. I'd love to hear what you think, so leave a comment down below. If you enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to stay up to date on future video releases. And until next time, thanks.